All right, what we've got here is the Michelin star restaurant of the MRE world. This is the 24 hour MRE of the French army, NATO approved. Let's cut this sucker open and see what we got. Now it certainly would make a lot of sense to use my French opinal knife to open a French RCIR. But you know, in the words of Crocodile Dundee, <laughs> Knife. That's a knife. Let's get into it. One thing I will tell you immediately, this sucker is heavy. We'll make short work of these. San George's Army Biscuits de Campagna. Six salted biscuits, six cereal biscuits, six chocolate biscuits. Very nice. Pete de fruits. Little miniature fruit bar. Combat fuel mocha. Muesli mix energy breakfast. Chocolate milk and chocolate chip muesli. That sounds freaking delicious. We've got an accessory pack. Two sugar packets. Salt and pepper. Instant coffee. Two of them. Tea. Cocoa beverage powder, hot chocolate, and another tea bag. I'm guessing this one's green tea. Fromage, this would be the processed cheese, I presume. Toilet paper or tissues, more cheese. Very cool. We have a 65% cacao noir chocolat. Très bien. We have a espit stove. In here we've also got matches and toothpicks, plastic trash baggie and the stove itself. Potage curry, looks like soup. Fresh strawberry, drink mix, fast intense hydration, strawberry mint, cereal bar, apricot, cool. Nougat, this is some sort of sweet treat, a little dessert, pasta carbonara, 300 grams. It is a lovely looking meal. And the other main hot pot, looks like uh, some kind of sausage and vegetables type stew or something. It looks pretty interesting. MREs are an expensive habit. If you are able to and you would like to support the channel, see more content like this, there's a buy me a coffee link below in the description. I greatly appreciate your support. Thanks very much. Okay, let's get this organized one meal at a time. All right, so we've got a number of items laid out here. I'm gonna actually do a brunch instead of just a breakfast. We've got our biscuits, combat fuel, mocha bar, strawberry fruit bar, pasta carbonara, chocolate chip muesli, coffee, hot chocolate, strawberry mint drink mix, and our strawberry jam. Let's get some hot water going, kettle on, and let's get started with these items. All right, while the kettle's heating up, let's start with this combat fuel mocha bar. Not exactly what I was expecting. Ooh, it's got a strong coffee smell to it. Let's dig in. Chocolate, smells really good. Mmm. That's a really good cereal bar. I swear it's got a taste of a little bit of liquor in it too. Really nice. All right, kettle's still heating up, so let's get this isotonic beverage powder into a glass. Interestingly, this ration came with no utensils. Yes, once again, I am drinking the beverage powder out of my Schlitz beer glass. Mmm. Tastes like fresh strawberries. Like, like you just diced up some strawberries and threw them in some water. That's really good. I thought the mint would degrade the flavor, but it actually is very subtle. It adds to it. Oh, that's nice. I was prepared to not like that. Look at that. Pieces of chocolate. Oh, it looks good. Can't wait to tear into this. Oh yeah, she's a boiling. Use this 25 milliliters of hot water. Real hot. It's probably faster. Give that a few minutes to hydrate. Give the pasta carbonara a few minutes to heat up. Let's move it right along to this pate de fruit. Fresh, looks like strawberries and blueberries. Covered in sugar. Looks really sweet. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that's really good. 
Not too sweet, not too tart, very natural tasting. It's like fresh fruit. As the French would say, magnifique. I got six salted biscuits, six, four cereal biscuits, and six chocolate biscuits. That's quite a lot. So I'm guessing this is supposed to last throughout the day. So what would go best with this strawberry jam? Perhaps the cereal biscuits. It's a lot like a graham cracker to me. Let's try it by itself and then we'll try it with the jam. Doesn't smell like too much. Mmm, a little bit less sweet than a typical graham cracker. Man, for a plain biscuit, that was delicious. Let's try it with the strawberry jam. That strawberry jam smells delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. Really tasty. Oh, give me some more of that. I would put that jam close to the level of the Russian jam that was in the IMP. Fresh fruit, minimal processing, no chemical taste, just good fruit jam. You gotta try a chocolate biscuit too. Mmm. That's delightful for a biscuit with nothing on it. Perfect. Magnifique! That would be great with coffee. A salted biscuit. Sure beats the heck out of rock hard stale biscuits. It occurs to me that this tuna with cheese filling was probably intended to be eaten with these plain biscuits. Now this smells like something that belongs in a military ration. Kind of a smoky processed smell. I'm a little shy about this one, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, very strong taste of fishiness. Very strong. I'm sure some people would love this, think it was a delicacy. This one's not for me. Let's get some sugar into this coffee. Nice looking cup of black coffee there. It smells very bold. I would assume it's French roast. And he brings this serious gourmet shit on. Hmm, it's still quite hot, but yeah. Very, very bold cup of coffee there. That's strong. Almost a little too strong, like uh, like Starbucks. It's got a little bit of a burnt taste to it. Just wouldn't be right not to do this. French Army Mocha coming up. You know, for all the fun we have at the French military's expense, the French are actually one of the only countries in Europe to maintain a really powerful military that still has expeditionary capabilities. And they were able to put it to use in Africa not that long ago. Army Mocha, French style. Wee oui, wee! Oui. But interestingly, you don't have to be French to serve in the French Armed Forces. Anybody can serve in the French Foreign Legion. It can be a pathway to a better life for a lot of people from Eastern Europe. And if you happen to be a cartoon skunk who's trying to forget about a heartbreak that you've suffered, the Foreign Legion is undoubtedly the place to be. Alright, let's crack into this pasta carbonara. Looks good. This smells really good. This is like restaurant quality food here. Wow. Wow. That is some really, really delicious, really high quality food. They can put this on your plate at a restaurant and you'd pay $25 for it. It's real food. That's really something special. Like this is real food. You could serve this at a dinner party, nobody would complain. So I was kind of complaining before about the cans, but now I understand why they've done it. Their focus is on the quality and the taste of the food. Would you rather have crap in a thermostabilized retort pouch? Last but not least, for our brunch meal, we have the chocolate chip muesli. This looks positively decadent. This looks so good. You could easily eat this for dessert. Look at that. Mm. If you had told me it was possible to make what is essentially oatmeal taste that good, I would have said you were crazy. 
During my 2002 deployment to Kosovo, the NATO force there, of which we were a part, was actually under the command of a French general, who I did briefly get to meet one day when we discovered a weapons cache out on the border of Kosovo and Serbia. He came out to check it out personally. He landed nearby in his Puma helicopter, wearing just a beret and a sidearm, while the rest of us were in full battle rattle and Kevlars and body armor, and he had an all-female protective detail with him. Very interesting guy. So with the one exception of that tuna concoction, the brunch meal was absolutely fantastic. Definitely the best MRE components I have ever tasted. Dinner has a lot to live up to. We've got the hot pot, whatever that is. We've got the processed cheese, this soup. We've got the nougat for dessert. We've got a 65% cacao dark chocolate bar. We've got the apricot cereal bar, green tea, black tea, and the salted biscuits for the cheese. Let's get the kettle going. Get some water heated up for the soup and for the tea. Vert a la menthe. I guess this is mint tea. While the water's heating up, let's dig into this apricot cereal bar. Looks nice. A little chewy. Not as good as the strawberry cereal bar, but still very good. I swear, I taste liquor in there. Like there's a definite undertone of liquor. I definitely like the strawberry one better. This isn't bad. Let's get our potage curry prepped and ready to go too. That is most definitely curry soup. And let's get our hot pot ready to go. Okay, so while that's heating up and these two are cooling off, let's tuck into this nougat. When I think nougat, I think Three Musketeers. This to me looks like fondant. Maybe the word for that in French is nougat. I don't know. Very sweet. Nice and fruity. It's very, very chewy. You pull the fillings right out of your teeth, but that is a lovely, lovely item. Mmm, what a nice sweet. Quite delicious. All right, 65% cacao dark chocolate bar. Nice, comes in squares, break them off. That smells like some strong dark chocolate there. Mm. Yep, <laughs> definitely is. Bittersweet and dry, not completely overpowering like some of the really high cacao percentage chocolates are, but definitely strong stuff. Very good. If you're a lover of dark chocolate, that would be delicious. Lots of antioxidants, lots of energy there. Good item. Check out the cheese with these salted biscuits. Looks like your regular standard can of Cheese Whiz or Velveeta. All right, salted biscuit, cheese spread. Here we go. Fromage, down the hatch. I don't know what kind of cheese that is, but it's got a little zip to it. Really strong flavor. Good. It's way better than any canned processed cheese deserves to be. Really has some zing. Let's give this mint green tea a try. That smells very minty. That's a nice item right there. No sugar at all. It's absolutely delicious. It's way better than your grocery store brand mint herbal tea. Boy, it's amazing to me the taste and quality of these items. I am not particularly looking forward to curry soup. I'm not a huge fan of curry. The smell of the powder was very, very strong. Let's see how it goes. The heat just kicked on, so you might hear some background noise. Not so sure about this. Okay, that's a lot better than I expected. Yeah, it definitely tastes like curry, but it also tastes like kind of exotic chicken broth. Not too bad. Be a great item to warm up with on a cold day. Kind of surprising. All right, let's crack into our hot pot here. Poté paisson. I don't know, we're about to find out.
On its surface, it looks like some kind of bean and vegetable stew. I see what look like white kidney beans, carrots, and I guess these are the sausages. This smells really good. You got beans, you got ham, carrots. Ugh. Oh, it's so good. I know the French take their cuisine really seriously, but this is outrageous. Like, no military ration has any business being this good. Fantastic item. Really tasty. The meat is really tasty. Same complaint as before. It's canned, it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky. What can I say about the French 24-hour RCIR other than... <laughs> Magnifique! This ration was tremendous. It was delicious. The components were of extremely high quality, and I would trade you a whole case of MREs for one of those. Not something I'd want to carry in my rucksack. But if it happened to be stationary, happened to be interacting with French troops, you bet your ass I'd trade them anything I had to get one of those. So that was the best foreign ration I've ever tasted. If you'd like to see the worst, check out this video over here. This one over here is the video that YouTube thinks you're gonna like the best, and they're pretty much always right about that, so give it a try. Make sure you're subscribed, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace!